slow. Oh my God, is that dirty. I have never seen trans fluid being that bad, that dirty. Wow. That is crazy. This will 100% shift better. I hope so. Oh, 100%, look at it. So that's what the fluid is supposed to look like. Like nice and uh, red. We're gonna pour this in here super, super slow into the fill hole down there. It's easy to find. So we have the drain plug back there. You can see it. That's what you loosen up. And then here on the side, the plug, that's where we measure later. And then up there is the filling situation happening. I'm gonna fill in the oil. Yeah. So make sure that you fill this in very, very slow. We don't want to spill down there. So this is the plug that is on top here is a plastic piece. We make sure that this <coughs> rubber ring is okay, that there is no rip or anything in there and that the whole screw is um, in one piece. Right, it's hollow in the middle. Look down there how that fills in. That's the fill hole. We go very slow with getting it in there. Can't see this here but it's hollow in the middle of the screw. Now when you plug when you screw this back in, since it's hollow, you have to be very careful, do not over tighten it. And so the change amount is like three and a half, four. That's how much we need here. So now we have to warm up the engine, bring it to 60 degrees Celsius for the for the coolant to have that temperature here in the hose. And we can use a tester to check it. Maybe you can feel 60, you know, when this says 60, it will take a minute. And then we have to open the plug on the side to see if it leaks out and we have to refill it on top again. So we refill from the top until it leaks out on the side. That's how that goes. But first, we have to heat it up and then we have to shift through all gears while we're here in park with all the brakes on. All the brakes go on and you shift through every single gear a couple of times to get the fluid through it. Is there any oil coming? You had it, you had it uh, out before. There's nothing coming, right? Nothing. That's very good. There's any oil coming? So, now we're ready to put in the air, the air filter housing down there it connects to the pipe that's the pipe that sucks in the air goes down there all the way around in there that's where we plug in and then we vacuumed out inside here where the dirt is to make room for more dirt and then we have a screw down here one there one there is it a third one down there you know, we can see it down there is one here and there so here we have the color of the oil that came out of it it's like brown and it's supposed to be like uh, cherry coke that's or cherry coke or dr pepper cherry that's how it's supposed to look like and right now we are looking at the filter the air filter it's gonna go back in here it smooths there on this when it goes this little thing goes into that gap there 
Oh my God, that's nice. And then just have to clip the clips back on there and then get that screw not too tight because we are working with plastic. And we have a little WD-40 on the thing there and you see how far it came out. So it's the same amount that you put it back in there. It doesn't have to be too tight. With the 10 millimeter, as you can see. Tighten it to back, it was not too tight. That's really good. Don't need a tool for this, I think. That's fantastic. Very good. That's what it is. And then we go on the test drive. So after we put everything together here on this wonderful Saturday afternoon, we're gonna close the hood and then we go on the test drive. Today is Saturday and it's very nice weather. We have no leakage as it is right now, so that should be perfect to be driven. So we're going, going to go for a quick test here. And when we're testing, we are shifting through all the gears we can. And the D, we have the manual shift stuff. We're going to try that while we drive. So on this wonderful Saturday afternoon, it's like so sunny and nice. So we're driving around here and we check all the gears, shift through every single gear with this manual shift there. And the vehicle accelerates very smooth and nice. Much better than before. No more slipping. Perfect. So I would say that was a great uh, fix here. A great oil change. And if you like this, um, subscribe for more videos like this. And if you're a Kia guy, I have a, a Jeep where I do my repairs on. This was just a weekend thing. And um, yeah, so I hope you liked it.